This is Brett with Collins Performance Technologies. Uh, today we're going to show you our new G35 350Z uh, engine mount uh, system for the 2JZ and a lot of the cool benefits and how it fits. I'm just going to go ahead and show you that. We got credit card fitment all the way through, fits pretty good. Basically underneath the uh, subframe. And uh, we wanted to give you guys as much uh, clearance on this front sway bar as possible right here so essentially you can um, move it a little bit more forward so basically we maxed out the mount uh, the slot in the mount but basically we slotted the mounts I'll give you a little bit better view when I go down and show you the the mount once we kind of uh, lower the vehicle down but basically um, what I was trying to do is show you the fitment under here and why we did a few of the things that we did. We kept the same stock uh, CD09 transmission and um, the reason we couldn't go over any farther in this direction was the tunnel right here um, has a limiting factor of this casting right here. So uh, we shoved the engine and trans back so far that you can actually get the stock radiator support, um, the condenser, the stock radiator but not the stock fan shroud unfortunately you have to go with the slim fan set in order to do a pull type fan system but you are able to get this whole structure into the car with the 2jz 1jz system on there with these mounts let's go ahead and show you uh, some more benefits and lower the car down and really show you how this thing is uh, put together okay so basically we have the engine and trans car lowered down. You can see how we kind of put this together. First and foremost, it is level, like really level. And we're using the stock rubber mounts. There's a little bit of slot adjustability. Let's see if we can get this thing to focus. There's a little bit of slot adjustability up and down on these mounts, just in case um, you can't get yours level, you can go ahead and adjust it. Uh, vertically on the engine to kind of compensate for um, to make it perfectly level on your swap. We also made it slotted. I don't know if you can see or not. Let's go to the other side so you can see a little bit better. We slotted it back and forth. We shoved the engine and trans combo as far back as possible to show you what what it's capable of to get the radiator and stuff uh, into the stock system but essentially we gave you a slot to bring it forward. We have maybe another three quarter of an inch to a full inch between the gap of the front sump oil pan and the stock sway bar. So we gave you about three quarter of an inch of slot adjustability to go forward if you wanted to bring the car forward. One thing that you won't find on yours is this pin relief hole is not gonna exist on your mount when you get yours in. You're gonna have to cut the pin off of the stock mount. So. Uh, in the instructions, it's going to have uh, instructions to cut the stock locating pin uh, off of the stock 350Z isolator. But essentially, uh, gusseted, laser cut, and there's, like I said, reliefs to go up and down with the mount. You can see that we got ours kind of adjusted midway on the mount to kind of uh, make sure that you get it, you know, perfectly level on your swap. So, uh, like I said, you can barely see the slot on this back one right here. But we got this um, this motor mount all the way back, and essentially, once you kind of get yours positioned where you need it, and you got it leveled out, um, you'll also see that the limiting factor is the trans tunnel. So if you guys want to hammer it in just a little bit right there, if you really want to, um, to give it a little bit more clearance, uh, it's got enough clearance that it's not going to touch. You're going to find these in the swap kits tab of the website. We're going to have a full 350Z uh, installation kit for G35 and 350Z systems. Um, this is the sheet metal economy version of the mounts. We're going to come up with a machined um, aluminum mount in the near future for a more higher end uh, system. Those we're going to go ahead and try to push it as far back as possible and those will be fixed. Those aren't going to have as much adjustability as these. So. Um, just go ahead and look for those in the near future, but right now we have the economy sheet metal mounts in the front and our uh, billet aluminum cross member in the back. I don't know if you can see it, but we have another video on that all together. So with the new mount set up, we have 
radiator clearance. We have enough to stick your hand in there, maybe about an inch and a quarter, something like that. But it's the factory condenser and radiator in there. We did have to remove the fan shroud in order to get uh, everything in, but you can use a set of like, you know, flex lights or something like that in conjunction with our new mount set with this new system. So as you can see, it's pretty good. So with the release of this kit, we have a stage three kit that gives you up to about 500 horsepower uh, at the wheel. And this basic setup, we're gonna do obviously engine mounts, trans mount, um, adapter plate, flywheel, clutch system, everything to kind of bolt the engine and trans into your G35, including shifter, a tripod, and stuff like that. You can go ahead and find that link in the description for the stage three kit. We also have a stage four and a stage five twin disc system. If you're looking to make, you know, a thousand to the wheel, we have something for that as well. So uh, I think we go all the way up to 1,100 foot pounds of torque if, if you can make that much. But basically, uh, you know, we'll put the link for the stage three, four, and five um, kits in the description below, which will include the motor mounts and the cross member. Also, we have a link just for the engine mounts and cross member with the shifter bracket as a uh, kit by itself, and that's going to be located in the swap kits um, page of the website. So. Uh, go ahead and, and look for those kits. Um, we'll put a link to that in the description as well at the bottom. So again, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, Collins Garage. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Collins Garage.